Hello, this is a video tutorial on the operation of the Chemo 0.8 Jupyter Notebook GUI. Um, in this video, we're going to be looking at some of the features of the GUI and seeing how to create and run our own workflows. So to start, we're going to create a new script. From here, we can start adding blocks to a workflow. You're always going to start with an input block. Um, for this example, I'm going to use one of the preloaded data sets but normally you probably want to use your own data. Um, if we go down to the data set, we can see the parameters tab and the input output tab. The parameters tab will have all the various um, parameters for, for, that are pertinent to the block you're working in. Since this is just a data set, um, obviously there aren't any parameters to adjust. So we're going to add a save block afterwards to get a better look at that. Here we can see the different parameters such as file name, format, etc. Um, most of the um, parameters should already be filled in, but if something needs uh, user input, it will be in this format where it says required required. So we'll just put in name for the file. Then anytime you make a change, you need to hit check to save. Um, you can restore it to defaults with default values. And then if you write a block by accident, you can remove it with the remove block button. Now we're going to get the um, data set piped from the um, previous block into this one. Since we're receiving from an earlier block, we're going to use the receive section. You can do the same thing from uh, block two, um, but using the send section. So we want the smile data from block two as a data frame. So that's all set up, more hit add. When you add a pipe, it will add on to the computation graph below. Um, and as you continue to grow your workflow, um, your computational graph will also continue to grow. If you added a pipe by accident, you can simply hit remove, highlight it and hit remove pipe. And um, again, you can do this either from your receiving block or from the sending block. When you finish your workflow, you go back to home. Uh, if you want a copy of your workflow um, to save for later, you can hit print script and it'll give you basically a text file with all the input data for your the script created, which you can save anywhere on your computer. And then if you paste it right back into existing script, it will bring up an exact copy of what you put in. So now we're going to save the script. When you do that, it'll give you instructions at the bottom. Basically, all you need to do is copy in this section into a new Jupyter cell. This part. And then put in your um, config file name, which should also appear right here. So I'm just gonna copy that. And then run the cell. You can see your cell running down here. All right. And then when that finishes, you should have a new folder wherever you're saving your workflows. If you look at that, it will have all your different files and plots are created as long as they're saved. So right here we have our test file. See all the smile, smile data in there. And then one last thing to show is we have um, a bunch of example templates. Uh, most of them do very basic things, plotting homo energies, plotting polarized abilities, et cetera. Um, if you want to use one, all you need to do is hit select and it'll bring up a workflow as if you had um, created it yourself. These are all fully um, outfitted, uh, complete workflows. 
um, all the settings adjusted and everything set up. Um, again, they're very basic, but I think they're great for learning how to build workflows and how to connect them um, by having a tangible example you can look at. All the parameters are done, all the piping's done. You can just run it as is. Uh, if you want to learn to use the GUI, you can uh, use these as an example to try and recreate them or anything similar to that. All right, thank you.